Hey, here to learn something new? Well, to keep those knowledge gears greased, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button to get notified when a poppin' fresh video is ready for your consumption. Let's talk about raspberry pies, a cornerstone of the tinkering community. And despite their deliciously deceiving name, raspberry pies aren't for a tasty treat. They're for computing and programming, my friends. That's the tasty treat. But please don't eat computers and programmers. They could get stuck in your teeth. Raspberry pies are teeny tiny super cheap computers with the largest being about the size of a deck of cards and the smallest being slightly larger than a stick of gum. Well that's incredible, you say. But that don't look like any computer I've ever seen, you say again. All right, let's be real. This thing looks like if Quasimodo and Tyrion Lannister somehow had a baby. How can this thing be a full computer? But despite what it looks like, it has everything a normal looking computer has. Look, it's got everything you need to connect a monitor, keyboard, mouse, the internet. Heavens to Betsy, folks, we got ourselves a full-fledged computer. One setback here, though, is the most popular computers on the market run Windows or Mac operating systems. But the Raspberry Pi runs something called Linux as their desktop operating system. To be specific, it's a version of Linux called Raspbian, designed specifically for the Raspberry Pi. But not all pies are created equal. There are several different versions, and to find out which one is right for you, let's give the family a rundown. Roll call! Introducing the Pi Zero. This is the run to the bunch. It's super tiny and requires a few extra adapters to get everything connected to it. But once you do, it's great for projects that have very little extra space. And while it's the cheapest of the bunch, $10 with Wi-Fi, $5 without, it also doesn't have as much computing power as compared to its bigger siblings. Speaking of which, the Model A series, the middle child, awkward, square, not as fast as its older sibling, not as cute as its younger sibling, often gets left behind on family trips. Sorry, I thought we were talking about me for a second. All right, it has a faster processor than the Pi Zero, but the same amount of memory. A full-sized USB port, audio port, and a full-sized HDMI port. The newest versions even have built-in wireless and Bluetooth, and this one is going to set you back about $25. And here we have the Model B series, the older, wiser Pi with all the bells and whistles. Yes, this Pi can knit a Hogwarts sweater while saving a cat from a tree. It can recite the Canterbury Tales while rebuilding an engine. It has four USB ports, a full-sized Ethernet jack, and up to four gigabytes of memory, quad-core processor, and the newest versions even support dual monitors. That's more power than a lot of laptops have on the market. Now, don't expect to be playing Fortnite on this thing, but starting at $35, it's one of the cheapest, decently-powered computers on the market. All right, so having a cheap full-fledged computer is cool, but let's address the real reason this Pi has become so popular. This little pin cushion right here. These things are called General Purpose Input Output Pins, or GPIO pins for those of you guys that don't like long words. These pins can send and receive electrical signals, and you can control those electrical signals from the operating system. Okay, before we start wandering too far into Nerdtopia here, what's that mean for the uninitiated? Okay, being able to control electrical signals means that you can control a lot of things that use electricity to run. So starting out small, for example, that'd be things like LED lights, motors, buttons, switches, radio signals, audio signals, and even LCD displays just to name a few. You could make a display that shows your YouTube subscribers. You could even add joysticks and buttons to make your own mini arcade system. It's actually pretty limitless what you can do with these GPIO pins. And it takes the Raspberry Pi from the computing world to the physical world. That's as refreshing as having a campsite with a bidet. If you've ever been curious about electronics or programming, then the Raspberry Pi is an excellent tool to have in your arsenal. And at $5 to $35, there's not much of an excuse not to have one. So if you didn't know about Raspberry Pis before, now you know and you're one step closer to being the master tinkerer that you're destined to be. If you made it this far, congratulations, here's your reward. Did you know that one of the first computer science PhDs was earned by a nun?